What's up YouTube? How y'all doing? My name is Beaker and welcome to my channel. On today's video we're going to be going over something different so this isn't going to be a gameplay video at all. We're just going to be going dive into the facts of what is in my opinion good, better, and best as far as ARs. We're going to go over ARs, we're going to go over LMGs, we're going to go over SMGs. Um, shotguns, snipers, there's really only a couple options and they're kind of the shotguns are kind of niche and the snipers there's only like three options like the car, the Swiss, or the, or the SPR. So these are the categories that I decided to stick with. This is going to be a weekly thing. This is going to be something that, like, if a new season comes out or if we have another gigantic patch notes change, we're going to be going over um, the, the stats. So we're going to be going over, like, what uh, J-God's posting as far as TTK charts. We're going to be going over true game data with more TTK stuff um, and a few other variables as well. And then also, you know, just giving me time to do my own testing. Uh, and actually seeing what this is going to be like more real world, um, like how these, you know, you can only look at the numbers so much, which I'm going to go over, but how do these things perform when you're actually using them? So if you guys like stuff like this, definitely drop a like, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys want to see more of less of. Also, I need a better name. I don't like the whole good, better, best thing. Cause it, it just really depends on your play style. I thought about doing like low, medium, high for like lower skill set players, medium, and then high, but I don't know. I'll go over more as why I don't, I don't think that's a good name either because a lot of really high skilled players end up using the Craig, which in my opinion is in the good category. There's better and best. Um, but, you know, it, it just depends on how you want to use it. So let me know a name, which you guys think is better because I couldn't think of one in kind of the short time frame that I decided to do this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into this stuff. So let's just start off with the build straight up. Um, if you guys We'll see in my later videos, I go over these builds, uh, not in detail, but you'll see the gameplay and stuff. So we're just going to kind of breeze through them. If you want to know exactly why I use the witch attachment, check out that video. But basically, this is the build. Group Suppressor, Spetsnaz RPK Barrel, Spetsnaz Grip, 45 round mag, which is actually really crucial for this gun and making it, in my opinion, the best. And then also the Axe 3 x Arms uh, Optic. The XM4 is going to be Agency Suppressor, Task Force Barrel, Axle 3 x 3 Axial Arms 3X. Field engine grip and the 60 round mag. And then the good the good ranking gun is gonna be the Craig. So the agency suppressor, mil spec barrel, axle arms 3x, field engine grip, and 60 round mag. So let's go ahead and jump over to true game data and check out how these guns stack up. So I have this spreadsheet, not spreadsheet, but this chart based on the fastest TTK that you can get. So only headshots and you're already ADS. So there's no ADS time built into this at all. Um, and as you can see, the AK-47 uh, beats everything. Uh, and, and it actually built beats all ARs, by the way, if you didn't know that already, which is why it's the best, in my opinion, AR that we have. Right, right before that is the XM4, which I think a lot of people are sleeping on. I don't think people realized how good this thing actually is. Um, which is, and this is why this one's going to be in the better category because it is easier to use than the AK. If you've ever used the AK, you know, it's a lot harder to use. It's nothing like the A, like the Amax used to be, by the way. Um, as far as recoil, they've gotten rid of all that visual recoil. So this thing is way easier to use than the Amax, uh, and mobility is way better as well. But so the XM4, really, really easy to use. If you're hitting headshots, you're going to melt people. And then the Krig. Um, so the Craig, so obviously this is all headshots and the damage extends out, which sounds great, but it's, you know, we'll go over why this is in J God's chart. Um, basically there's not a huge headshot multiplier. So if you hit, I think you have to hit like three or four headshots to actually start actually dropping the TTK. So if you hit two headshots and then the rest chest shots, it's the same TTK than if you just hit all hit all chest shots. So again, that's why this one's in the good category because it's easy to use and it's forgiving uh the recoil is really easy to use but if you need to shrink down that ttk with headshots you don't really get that which is good by the way because you don't want a gun that's super easy to use that you can just melt people with only headshot like one or two headshots and be able to down everybody even faster that's just not in my opinion that's not the way that this meta should be built it should be built on player base or as far as like usability like if you can control this weapon you're going to be rewarded especially if you can hit your shots if you have a gun like the like the kilo or the Krig that's super easy to use and it melts people it's just not a not good for uh, the environment let's just say that so that's that's what we're going to be looking at as far as the fastest ttk 
So now we're going to move over to the chest TTK, and as you can see, the AK-47 is still top tier. It's still top contender, even at long range. Uh, I don't know why the Krieg has such a far damage drop off, but that's neither here nor there. Anything past, you know, 56 meters, the AK still does really good. And the Krieg actually beats out the XM4. So you're like, oh man, so why is that, you know, why is this one good as opposed to better than XM4? Get into more to that, but... So straight up TTKs to the chest. Again, this is going to be the same uh, graph that you guys just saw with the headshots. So again, you don't make up anything with headshots unless you're hitting like three or four. Uh, we can add in ADS times here if we want. It's pretty much the same. AK is going to beat it out because it has that 45 round mag. Uh, sorry, let me add that in there. There we go. Uh, but as you can see, XM4 and the Krig, pretty much the same. So usability with XM4, mobility, everything like that is going to be a lot better. The stomach shots, pretty much the same thing. Uh, I think it's just because the multiplier is the same between all these and the same with ADS. It's pretty much going to be the same. So when we start looking at extremities between these three weapons, um, you can see the AK is still on top, but the Krig has now fallen to the bottom, like more of the bottom, right? So that the XM4 and the Krig were like right there. Um, basically, in my opinion, why I think this is because, again, it's an easier gun to use. You should be hitting chest and headshots. So if you're a uh, a high skill player using a super easy to use gun, you should be able to hit chest and heads no problem. If you start missing your shots, extremities is really going to start um, wavering against you. So that's kind of why I think this is actually good. Very well balanced. So everything looks good. Everything is kind of in line. So let's go ahead and look over what J-God's little um, TTK chart has to say. All right, so sorry for the blurriness and sorry for how bright this is. Um, but basically right here, we're going to have all of the, I keep trying to point, you guys can't see that. <laughs> so as you can see, these are going to be all of the long range TTKs in this column right here. And he has them sorted between least and highest. So better to worst. And as you can see, find the Cold War AK is actually kind of far down, right? So you're like, oh, that's weird. So this is practical TTK. Um, so this is like mixing in pretty much like chest and I think some stomach shots, maybe some extremities. This is going to be your base TTK, no modifiers, anything like that, which isn't that great. The FARA builds it out. Um, I'll go over more in detail in the next one of why I don't think that the FARA is in this category and we'll go over that more later. But so AK, not, not the best, not the worst. Um, and then as we can follow it all the way down, XM4 is actually all the way down here and the Krig is right here. So now you're really confused, right? Now you're like, well, the Krig has a better TTK at 736. Next M4 has it at 749. Like, bigger doesn't make any sense. I know, we'll go over it more. Again, so this is why using this chart, solely this chart, is not that great, right? So it definitely has its purpose. You can definitely find out which guns are going to be the best. This is how I found out that the NG82 and the Bruin are pound for pound the best as far as TTK goes. But... That's why you just kind of take this this chart with a grain of salt, use it as a reference, and then maybe use true game data, or look at this next chart, which I'm going to show you. Okay, so this is pretty much the same chart. It's not um, it's not category or it's not um, it's not filtered from best to worst. Uh, these are just all kind of over the place. So we're going to have to do some jumping around on this. So basically, this is the long range TTK we were just looking at, and then with one headshot, one headshot, and then also two headshot TTK. So we're going to go to the Cold War AK. <clears throat> so long range CTK, again, 700, not the best. You hit two, two headshots. Again, this is a, a high skilled weapon. It's not, you know, it's not the Kilo. It's not the Krig. It's not the Growl where it's super easy to use. It is harder to use. And then also hitting headshots is, isn't easy, but you're greatly, greatly rewarded for that. Uh, it has one of the fastest DTKs. Um, in there, and as I showed before on the True Game Data site, it has the fastest long range GTK if you hit headshots. Again, is that going to happen all the time? No, but if you need to make something work, if you have if someone has to drop on you, they start shooting at you, and you jump, spin, and then you start hitting headshots, you're going to melt them faster than say like if you have if that person has the Craig and they're melting you, they can't gain any time on you by hitting you in the head because they have to hit three or four of them. And that thing actually doesn't have that fast of rate of fire. So trying to make that up is almost impossible. 
Colbert AK having that snap here, 45 round mag, and also being able to lower your TTK by 100 milliseconds is huge. I think this thing's going to take a long time until it finally hits mainstream. Um, I mean, the AMAX took months until it finally became like super, super popular. So I think this one's going to be the same. Now, I know that there are better ones, right? So this one's flat at 600, but the LMGs are pretty much the only things that are higher up. AMAX is actually even better, uh, but I think that we're also used to having pretty much no visual recoil when it comes to Cold War stuff that it's just easier to use. All right, and then we're going to drop back down. So here is the Krig. This is what I was talking about. So this was the long range GTK that we were looking at hitting one headshot, still the same, hitting two headshots, still the same. So again, this gun is super easy to use and you're more likely to get that 736 TTK. But if you need to make that up, if you are down on a fight, if you have less plates, you know, you're not, you're not going full on three plates versus three plates uh, on your opponent. If, if they have a drop on you, it's really hard to make this up unless, unless they start missing shots or if you finesse them or drop shot them, whatever, it's going to be tough to make this up. Again, a lot of pro players, I mean, players that are way better than me use this gun and I'm not saying it's bad. I don't want that to come across at all. I just think in this, as far as good, better, best, the Krig is good, right? It's consistent. It's easy to use. There's a lot of things that go for it, but it's not the best as far as TTK, but it makes up for it because it's easy to use. That's kind of where metas should be in my opinion. So that's why I think this was kind of the main reason why I felt as though the Krig only fell in the good category because there's nowhere to make up that, that TTK. And the mobility isn't the best either. You can put on like the Ranger and stuff, which I've showed before to make that up because the recoil is really easy to use. But in just that standard build, this is where they come out. So the XM4, the one that I actually end up using more and more uh, and I actually started using it more after I looked at this. So here's the XM4. 749 TTK, again, remember it's worse than the Krig, like your base TTK, but you hit one, one headshot, which is not hard with this gun because recoil is really, really easy, guys. I'm telling you, try this thing out. You drop your TTK dramatically. You're going to go from 749 to 666. Granted, if you get a second one, you're not going to drop it anymore, but again, one headshot in a 10-shot TTK, that's not hard. It's not hard at all. And now you're right up there. Uh, you know, you're still far away from the Cold War AK, but they have to hit two, right? They got to hit two headshots. You're, and the recoil is way harder to use. XM4, you need one to drop your TTK that far. That was a huge game changer for me. Once I found that out, I was like, dude, this thing, this thing still got it. Uh, but again, you have to be good with it. You have to be good with these guns in order to make up that TTK. You have to be consistent. You can't hit extremities. I know that the even the Krig extremities stuff isn't the best, but again, you have to hit your shots. And that's where I feel like these guns, yes, they're harder to use, which is why they should go more towards higher skilled players. So then they can take on, you know, 1v2, 1v3, 1v4s because they have a gun that's going to melt faster than a team of bots that's using Krigs. Again, I'm not saying if you're if you're using a Krig, you're a bot. I use I love the Krig. All right, it's actually my go-to if I'm getting melted, and if I'm getting annihilated by people, or if my shots just aren't that good, I'll go to the Krig. So that's kind of like a quick. I don't even know how long this video is. 16 minutes in, so it's not too bad. It's actually right about where I wanted to be at. So those are my reasonings of why I think these guns are good, better, and best as far as in this meta, where we're at right now, based on your skill. You know, kind of take this stuff with a grain of salt, you know, take a hard look at yourself and see like, it, you know, am I good enough to use the Cold War AK? I don't think I'm good enough to use Cold War AK. There's definitely some days where I'm cracked out of my fucking mind and I can use Cold War AK and I'm down on people left and right uh, and being able to ADS faster on people because it, as you saw on the True Games data, data site, because it has a 45 round mag, you can ADS faster and get the drop on people way, way faster than what they can with a 60 round mag. So all depends on your play, play style, all depends on how good you are so definitely take this stuff with a grain of salt and make your own decision i've shown different builds what i think is top tier top meta um in different situations so definitely take that into effect why i think the farah didn't make it in this list let me go back to one of the charts so i'm not gonna plug it back into true game data because uh when you look at it it 
I mean, the, the far, the far is still melts. It co still completely melts if you're good with it. I never got used to the recoil pattern. I didn't like it. It changed too many times, uh, in my opinion. Um, you know, it had like a weird zigzag and then they just reduced the zigzag and they just got rid of it completely. And then they increased it more. I don't even remember. I didn't really use this gun a whole lot. I knew it was going to be a top contender after they added those new barrels in, but I just never got used to it. And this kind of solidified it for me. So 684 TTK, pound for pound better than the Cold War AK. Again, you got to hit your shots, um, which if you're not used to the recoil pattern like me, not going to happen. Again, if you use the Farah, you're good with the Farah, cool, good for you. But this is why I didn't make it on my list. It's got to be good for me, right? But the biggest contender for me was, yeah, your TTK is really fast. It's a 10-shot TTK, and it's because this thing fires extremely fast. So your damage per mag, so it's only a little bit better than the Cold War AK, but the Cold War AK has a 21 damage per mag capability. So you're able to down... Uh, 8.4 people, which, you know, obviously you're going to miss some shots. Uh, you're going to down some people or you're going to finish some people or whatever. So that's obviously, but it just goes to show you how many people that you can, if you're hitting all your shots, how many people you can down with one mag. Far as six, six, even though it has a better TTK. So it takes, obviously, like I said, it takes more bullets to down somebody and the recoil for me is harder to control. Um, that was one reason. Another reason ADS is terrible. It's not that much worse than the Krig, but like when you're talking about a gun like the Cold War AK, the ADS is so fast. Any any kind of millisecond counts, especially when you're only uh, 16 points away from from the next contender. You got to be able to ADS fast. Second, and which bugged me the most, the reload time takes forever. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me, but it seems like the repull is terrible. Let alone if you run all the way out and then you got to rebolt it. Dear God, like <laughs> it takes forever. So that's, I think I went a little bit too far into exactly why I think this thing didn't make it. But in short, that's pretty much what it was. Uh, if you guys want to talk to me more on Twitch, uh, I'll try and be nicer to the, to the far than I have been. I basically just been calling this thing a trash gun. So uh, maybe I'll be a little bit nicer, but those are kind of the three big reasons why this thing didn't make my list. Uh, and it just didn't really fit in a good spot for me. So that was my choice. Let me know what you guys think about these videos. If you guys want to see more of this stuff, again, I'm going to go over SMGs and LMGs later on. If you guys want to see these guns in action, check out my YouTube. I promise you I have a, a video and on all these guns. I might be missing one or two, but honestly, they're all out there. So thanks again for sticking around to the very end, guys. I really appreciate it. Make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe to my Twitch. It's in the link down below. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.